Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and we are ready to round up and get all of the necessary software to be able to do uh, work with the Prism controller. So that means finding and, and downloading the Arduino IDE software and downloading and installing the Prism library that we've done for the Arduino. So let's go ahead and let's start with uh, the Arduino IDE software. If you go into your browser uh, URL window and make sure that you type in Prism Downloads. Hit enter. It'll take you to a page with all of the necessary resources that you'll need for both uh, the software install and the library install. The first thing you'll see <coughs> is the Tetrix Prism uh, robotic controller download page at the top. But underneath that, it says software downloads and it says installing the Arduino software. Now, if you, the simple thing to do is just click on that link. This is download the Arduino software and it'll take you straight to the Arduino.cc webpage. Now, everybody's going to have potentially different uh, operating systems. So, what you need to do at this point is follow the instructions down here. I do want to make sure that you are aware of the version number of the software. That's kind of important. You really do want to download the latest version. And it helps sometimes to go back occasionally just to check and see if there's updates available and make sure you're kind of on the current uh, version because we will uh, plan on making updates to the library to kind of maintain pace with um, the version of the uh, Arduino IDE software. We'll be able to do it all the time. There might be a little bit of gaps, but we do try and keep updated with that kind of thing. So you do want to download the latest version. You'll see on the right there's Windows installer, Mac installer, and Linux installers. And you'll want to click on the appropriate link. For me, I would be on Mac. I would do the download for the Mac. I've already done that and I've followed my instructions for uh, the system that I have to install the software. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and launch the software for the first time. And for me on my Mac, I'm going to go to my Finder, I'm going to go to my Applications, and I can double click on my Arduino. That's going to just launch the software for the first time. Can make sure that all the, the files and the documents area and stuff are in the, in the right place. Um, establish that directory system that you need to make the software works. That's really all you need to do the first time. Then you can go ahead and close out of that if you want to, but you do want to go ahead and launch it first time after you've installed it. Once you've got the Arduino software downloaded and installed, we want to do the Prism library next. So let's go ahead and go back to our browser and we're ready to go back to the Tetrix website. And if you scroll down, you'll see the next option after the software downloads is installing the Prism Robotics Arduino library. Now, I want to make sure everybody's aware. There are instructions right here that kind of walk you through it. There's also instructions in the um, printed programming guide and in the quick start guide. So there's several places where these instructions are at, but we're going to walk you through it. So the easy way to do this is quickly is just simply uh, click on the button that says download the Prism uh, library. It'll take just a couple of seconds to download. It'll put something on your desktop or wherever you have downloads saved to. So if you're on a, a Windows user and you have files saved to your download folder or a Mac user that you have files saved to your download folder, that's where your Prism library is going to go. So you need to be aware of where that is in uh, located on your computer. So once it finishes downloading, I should normally take just a couple of uh, minutes there. You're going to go back to the Arduino software. You're going to launch the Arduino software. And when the software loads up, it's starting now. Okay, you're going to go up to the menu option. I want to show you what it looks like without the library installed. When you go down to under file to examples, and expands to the right, you'll see in the list that there is nothing that says Tetrix uh, or Prism. So we're going to change that by installing the library. So we're going to go over to the option under Sketch that says uh, Include Library. 
and and that pull out to the right, you'll have one something that says add.zip library. That's the option that you want to choose. When you choose that option, it'll allow you to browse where the zip file has been downloaded to on your machine. So for me, it's on my desktop. I'm going to open up my desktop, double click on that, and I should see a prism zip file. And it should be followed by a number that designates the date. You want to kind of be aware of that number if uh, the latest date should be uh, the number that you want to look for. Simply choose that zip file. Click on choose for a Mac. Might be open for a window. Once you've done that, we should be able to go back to our file menu option. And under examples, and now at the bottom, we should see an option that says Tetrix Prism with all of the, the pre-loaded examples there ready for you to open. For instance, we could go to Getting Started Activity 1 Blink Red LED. You are ready to go. So that's all you need to do to be able to get this up and going and have the library installed into your Prism library. So, or your Arduino library. I hope you found that informational and it inspires you to go ahead and continue to work with the Prism controller, the Arduino software, and build some awesome robots. So, like we say, build robots, have fun, come back and see us.